Well, Walt Grayson has some thoughts on the just closed legislative session. What do you think, Walt? Well, overall, I think they had a successful stay in Jackson. Uh, some much needed laws were passed. And I don't want to be like the overbearing parent scrutinizing a table that a child has just polished and pointing out that they missed a spot. But the legislature missed a spot, or two, in my opinion. One is the expansion of Medicaid. Mississippi is the poorest state in the Union and the unhealthiest state in the Union. And by some accounts, as many as 300,000 of our residents have no medical insurance because they either don't make enough to buy it or they make too much to qualify for Medicaid. Now, this is about a third of the population. Now, they either do without medical treatment or they go to the hospital emergency rooms, which by law have to treat whoever comes in. Medicaid expansion would free up hospital space and resources by allowing people to go to regular doctors for treatment instead of having to rely on emergency rooms. And the Mississippi Hospital Association has already said they would pay the state's part because that would be cheaper than what it costs them to treat people who will never pay their bills. Now, this is such a win-win situation, I don't understand why Mississippi didn't expand Medicaid as soon as it was available. Except perhaps it has the name Obamacare associated with it. Well, what's in a name anyway? Well, in this case, what's in it is the billions of dollars not coming to Mississippi for health care. Now, the other thing I had hoped they would restore is the ballot initiative process by which people of the state can place issues on the ballot and not, you know, bypassing the legislature. If they don't bring it up in the legislature, we can put it on the ballot ourselves. Now, we have medical marijuana because it was first passed by ballot initiative. And the process by which the state flag was eventually changed was started by ballot initiative. I guess we could restore the ballot initiative, except the legislature failed to pass it. Well, the next time we vote for the people who vote for what we want in the legislature in Jackson, make sure we use our own initiative and simply vote for the ones who will actually move us ahead as the state and not those who habitually still think that this state operates under the power of politics that it operated under in the 1960s.